Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Man, do we have a very, very weird video for you today. Guys, I'm going to talk about the two biggest killers to your beard. So stay tuned after we roll that intro. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm, well, I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. YouTube, thank you so much for staying past, you know, that intro. Now, as you saw, we're going to talk about the two biggest killers to your beard before it even really gets a chance to get off the ground. Now, I want to say before we get too far into this one, for you first time viewers of my channel, thank you so much for taking a moment of your time to view this video. I know your time is your most precious commodity, and I'm very, very thankful that you're sharing some of it with me. Now, for you first time viewers and you long time viewers who haven't done it yet, Look down below. There's going to be a little channel watermark popping up. Man, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. All right, guys. Now, we're going to talk about beard itch. Seriously, it is a very, very real thing. Now, some of you may remember, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I had this great man main going on. I'm going to leave a card right up there to why I had to take it down. So I started to regrow it. And man, have I forgotten about beard itch. It is the second biggest killer to your beard before it even starts to grow. The first is an angry better half who tells you, you better dump the beard or I'm going to join Alyssa Milano's, you know, what does she have going on now? Oh yeah, the sex protest. So, yeah, so there's your first is a better half going, no. Your second biggest killer is beard itch. And guys, it is so real. I am now just getting to the point where I'm getting over it because I have been like, oh my God, stop. But let's talk about it for a moment, okay? Basically, and this goes on all the time, for you baby face guys who don't have a beard, and I know I don't have much to talk about right now, and you can still see the stress patch is there, but it's starting to fill in a little. When you're shaving, you're removing all those dead skin cells that your body usually just gets rid of because every day it's like I want to say hundreds of them hundreds about thousands of them just expel themselves because it goes through its you know cycle of we're here we're growing we're dead get rid of it the worst part your beard traps that in there so your body on an average loses up to 50 beard hairs a day well when you're growing your beard that gets in there when you're shaving, you're just automatically getting rid of it. You don't need to deal with it. But when you're growing it out, beard itch is real. It will make you sit and do this and sit and do this and be like, man, fuck this. I'm shaving this. I can't grow a beard. It's just driving me insane. There is help. You can power through it. But I'm going to give you a couple ideas here in this video on how to combat that. All right. The biggest thing you need to do is clean your beard. That's number one. Seriously, clean your beard. And I'm not talking about with shampoo that you use for your head because your beard hair is different than the hair on top of your head. If you use normal shampoo and conditioner on your beard, you can damage it and you can harm its growth and cause it to dry out, break off, and now you have more beard itch. Get you beard wash, all right? This is something I've just recently gotten from the boys over at Royal Beardsman. I really like it. They're peppermint scent. Seriously, I only use maybe between a dime and a quarter, lather it up, get it in there, and get it going. That helps reduce beard itch because your beard is becoming clean. You're helping, you know, exfoliate it. You're helping get rid of all that dead growth in there. And, you know, it helps because it helps keep crap clean, getting your hair growing, and getting stuff moving. Oh, wow, sorry. Like I said couple times. Remember, when you used to shave, you didn't have this issue because you were scraping it off. Now, the second thing you really, truly need to do is make sure you keep repairing your beard. Now, I know that sounds dumb, but when it's growing out, you need to be able to feed it. And like I've said in lots of videos, beard oil. Seriously, beard oil. This one's made by Chesapeake Beard Co., and I'm about to film a review on this guy here in just a moment. Beard oil gets you all that great natural stuff that you need to get into your beard and help feed it. Because your body can only produce so much oil in order to help keep stuff healthy, help it keep growing, and help it be, you know, natural and just incredible. 
Now, I know there's this huge fad running around right now with heated beard straighteners. If you're putting a lot of steam and you're putting a lot of heat right on your beard, you can seriously damage it. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who got their stuff for free and they're like, oh man, this is the greatest product ever. This is awesome. This is wonderful. You can seriously damage your hair. You can, you know, dry it out, make it brittle, make it break, shorten its lifespan. Because like I said, you go through that cycle of growth, life, and death with your beard hairs because it's 50 a day are going to leave you. I, I didn't think it was true until I'm starting to look around my floor and I'm like, oh God, there's beard hair mixed in with other hair that's shedding from, you know, a couple long haired women I have in my house. And it's like, oh God, it is true. It is true. It is true. The other thing you got to remember when you're growing it out, your lifestyle can seriously affect your beard. All right. Sorry, guys. Little, little camera hiccup there. Now, your hydration level is important. It really, truly is. You need to be pounding water, pounding other stuff in order to help your body regulate and help it go through. Because if you're dehydrating yourself, your body's not going to produce the right amounts of stuff that it needs. <laughs> so that's why better half just dropping her cell phone as she walked behind the camera. So I'm really trying really hard not to laugh at her. She's flipping me off right now. So love you too, dear. <laughs> so as I was saying, you know, hydration is important. You got to hydrate, got to hydrate, got to hydrate. And no, I'm not talking about like in the military where they're like, drink water, change your socks, take some Motrin, you're fine. Your diet will affect beard itch. It will affect beard growth. When you're filling yourself full of, you know, fast food and other crap, what's that old saying? Garbage in, garbage out. So you want to try to eat a little better. And I know I'm trying to drop some more weight. And I ate a salad willingly for the first time, you know, a couple of days ago, and <laughs> I paid for it because my body's not used to that. I treated my body like an amusement park for a while. You know, typical breakfast was a bag of Skittles and a Dr. Pepper and keep moving forward. Now, rest. Rest is very important to help combat beard itch and help beard growth. Because if you're dragging butt all the time, your body's not going to function at a higher level like it should. You need to go through that proper cycle and you seriously need to be able to sleep and hit that REM sleep where your body is basically rebuilding itself. When you hit that REM cycle, your body is totally at peace and it's going to work and you're done. It's like, this is great. This is awesome. This is wonderful. Now, the other one is exercise. Okay, seriously, it's exercise. Exercise produces DHT, which is, if I'm saying this right, the hydrotestosterone. Testosterone is massively key for guys, all right? It's going to help basically get your man main growing and help regulate a whole bunch of other stuff with you. So you need to, you know, you need to take care of yourself, all right? You really do. And especially when you're getting older like I am. I mean, I made a joke with the better half the other day. Man, there's this point where I'm taking a nap. I get up and I feel worse than when I went down for a nap because I'm like, oh, God, this hurts. Oh, that hurts. Crap. When did I make this? Yeah. So all those put together is going to help eliminate beard itch, and it's also going to help beard growth. You just got to remember, feed the beard with proteins and, you know, conditioners. And speaking of conditioners, it brings us in the next one. You need to condition your beard. It's called co-washing, okay? Lots of companies sell co-washes, as you see beard conditioner. Once again, this is by the Royal Beardsman, and it is their peppermint scent. Guys, when I had my big beard, I only washed it twice a week, you know, give it a thorough scrubbing, and I co-wash five days a week. Every time I use shampoo, I always follow it up with co-wash. So wash and co-wash. This is critical, simply because you need nutrients, you need good stuff in there, you need to lock that moisture in, and you need to have those oils circulating through. Now, when you're conditioning your beard, you can use other stuff like, you know, bombs. Just got this one in. We'll be doing a review on it shortly. The Everman Jack Beard Balm. I'll be honest with you, I kind of like it. I like it a lot more than I did their butter. So, you know, there's that. And some of you may remember my, my review on this guy. Butters. Butters are... They will help hydrate your beard. They'll help condition your skin. They will help eliminate beard itch because, man, when you slap that thing on, you can just feel it as you're going through. And it's like, oh, God, this feels better. Even when I had the big, huge manly mane rubbing, you know, balms, oils, and butters in there, I was like, wow, this feels good. 
This is awesome. This is wonderful. And what you also need to remember is brush your beard. You can get simple boar's hair brushes. Seriously, this one's by the Cremo Company. I think I got it at Walmart for 10 bucks. You know, this, when you're doing this, it also helps stimulate blood to the area and, you know, growth and help, you know, remove dead skin cells. So that is critical to combating beard itch. And later on, when it starts to grow more, you get yourself a beard comb. As you can see, this one's by Cremo. You get in there and you just keep straightening, you know, your beard, making it look good, having it on point. You're removing dead hairs, you're removing dead skin cells. You know, you, you just really can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> and the last one, seriously, use all these products together. Moisturize your beard. All right, first line of defense, seriously what I usually do, whatever beard oil I'm going to wear that day. That goes on. You know, it's really, really simple to apply, guys. Most beard oils that I have come with a little eyedropper top. And like I've said in every one of my beard oil reviews, you just squeeze it, get the amount in there you need, put it in your hands, rub it together, and work it into your skin. Because the beard oil is not for your beard. It's for the skin underneath. It's like a massive vitamin supplement for your beard. You need that because, like I said, it's going to help your body produce um, better results. It's going to help thicken areas up. It's going to help lock in moisture. What I'll do next is wait between 5, 10 minutes. The longest I think I've ever waited is 20. If I'm going to wear balm, I'll apply balm. That's after that time. And balm is so simple, guys. It's pretty much in a solid form. As you can see by that little swoop right there. Get your thumbnail in, dig some out, get it in your hands, and emulsify it. And that just simply means I put you know, a little blob right in there and I rub my hands together. So it takes it from that solid down to a liquid and you just work it in as well. That's going to help lock everything in place. It's going to help moisturize your beard. It's going to help condition your beard. And it's going to help keep a great form on it. Now what I will usually do is later on at night, it's part of my nighttime routine, is a lot of when I use butters. I'll normally use it after, say, 1700 or 5 o'clock, you know, for you civilians. And it works the same exact way. Okay? It's got a lighter, lighter hold than um, Balm does. Yeah, I should just get rid of that. And that's what Fresh Beard's beard butter looks like. Get in there, same principle as the Balm. Get your nail in there, put it in, emulsify it, and work it in. It has so much good stuff in there that's going to help your beard, it's going to help feed your beard, and it's going to make you feel better. Because seriously, when you're feeling good, you have a slight psychological effect on yourself. And you're like, yeah, things are looking good, beard's looking good, feeling awesome. And you're not going to be thinking about beard itch. It's going to be under control. But there we go, guys. That's four things to help you combat beard itch. Now, I know beard products can be spendy. Get what you like, buy once, cry once, right? Now, <laughs> these usually by themselves, I think, were like 20 bucks, but I think I got a set for 34 from Royal Beardsman. Two ounce bottle, I think it was 20 bucks from um, Chesapeake Beard Co. It's about an average going rate for, you know, one ounce jars between 10 and 20. So if I get a two ounce, 20 bucks, I'm saving money right there. This guy was at Walmart, I think it was 10 bucks for a two ounce, yeah, a two ounce tub. And I think this was 20 as well for a four ounce tub. So with everything right there, there's like 80 bucks and it's gonna last you a while. You know, it's just simple stuff you can do to get into your beard and get it growing healthy and help eliminate all that, you know, crap that's in there. But you know what? Here's the fun part, guys. I want to know your questions, comments, love, anger, hatred, all that fun stuff like we usually do here on the channel. This one I had to make because, well, after taking this down, yeah, beard itch is real. Now, speaking of all those products before, look up top. You're going to see a card for every single beard care product that I've ever brought to the channel. It's always growing because as my journey continues and I'm trying different stuff, I'm going to bring them to you about what I like, what I didn't like, what's working, what's not working. You know, some things I have brought to the channel, and I will say it just like this. 
I did not like the Everman Jack beard butter, and the consistency of it, everything else, how it felt in my face, how it felt in my beard. It was a really bad turnoff, and some people got angry because I didn't like it. It's okay. Seriously, whatever product you like, don't let a YouTuber like myself say, oh yeah, that thing sucks, don't use it. If it's working for you and it's giving you your results and it's giving you what you need, that's your money you spent, so enjoy it, man. We don't have to agree on the same stuff. But as this one's starting to ramble on, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to do the little wrap-up right here, okay? So, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, like I said at the very beginning of the video, man, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. I know your time is your most important commodity, and I'm very thankful you spent some of it with me here today. Hopefully, I've earned the right to have more of your time. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who haven't done it at the beginning of the video, man, look down there. should be sitting right there. going to be a big old channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and subscribed, please hit that bell icon. Why? That's a great question. Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos, two of them are going to be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. Like I said, there's two things that will kill a beard before it even gets started. Thanks so much for watching. And I thank you, well, I don't thank you, but excuse me, <laughs> let me back that up. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day today. Long weekend, no sleep, Chris needs caffeine. Thanks, guys.